Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your man Valentine, baby. Coming from on the grind. Yo. I look outside. I see it. That fall thing is coming, man. Still having that fake sun. So, you know. The home edition is the inside edition. That's just how it's going to go down. But anyway, it's all good, though. So, yo, did y'all hear this? We know it's election time in the United States. And Trump is struggling with, with, uh, with black voters, black men voters. And the women ain't voting for him anyway. And so there is... A bunch of stuff on, on social media where there's black men, there's profiles of black men supporting Trump. And it has blacks for Trump or something like that on social media. So they've got a bunch of fake black people, which these people don't know that their face and their name is being used as a fake social media account to uh, support Trump. And yesterday, I mean, there was a dude who found out that his name and face was on, on some account that's saying black people for Trump and whatever it was. And so I guess the CNN found this out and found this dude and said, did you know that this was happening? And he was like, I didn't even know I was, my face was being used. And then I, th I think he asked him if he was going to vote for Trump. And he's like, there's no way I'm voting for Trump. So this man, I don't know, people are doing it. So they're using fake black accounts and fake black men accounts to say that black people are, like, are liking Trump. You know what? No, forget it. Black people, you better make sure you do not vote for Trump. And all you Republican black people, I don't even understand how you can be Republicans when you see what this man has done to black people, Hispanic people, and all the Native Indian people. You know, the man does not like anybody of color. If we go back to the New York Five, the housing projects, any type of thing where he rezoning of housing for, for um, socioeconomic uh, disenfranchised people, this man has voted against it and tried to not, uh, not give the people housing and then also trying to put the New York Five in, uh, in jail for the rest of their lives because he thought they raped some, some white women in, in Central Park when it wasn't even so. So, black people, you better get on social media and make sure you check out your profile and make sure your profile is not being used to support Dumpy Trumpy. You feel me? And, again, we already know. What is it, 19 days until, until the election? Man. America, we need to wake up for the next 19 days, man. If y'all haven't voted already, Get out and do your early voting because the lines are long and right now winter hasn't come yet. So get out there and do your thing and stand in line and get it done and make sure you make your voice be heard November 3rd and vote Biden Harris. You feel what I'm saying? Now, we need to, we're, we're in Canada, we're getting ready for that election time thing too. And we already know that the, the election is coming. So make sure you get out and vote there too. And I don't know if I want to put a party out there that I think should win. Because I will not do that yet. But, I mean, we watched that debate last night. It was kind of, it was tame compared to the ones we were watching before. And... 
people, you, you, you were too nice. They were too nice. I think they need a little bit of fire to make sure to, to, to give us a little, you know, something. Even though I think it was um, Horgan showed good restraint by not getting upset and not letting the other two get him into that into that argumentative thing. So, but, I mean, whatever. You know what I mean? So, anyway. And I know they spoke about racism and, and everything else. And, and we still have systemic racism in Canada. And all the leaders of every national party should come out and say that we condemn systemic racism. We condemn police brutality, the socioeconomic reason, the police brutality, the institutionalized racism. And black lives do matter. Indigenous lives matter too. Anybody of color. You know what I mean? So we need to get on that Black Lives Matter train and try to end systemic racism. We need something for racial equality and racial reforms and social reforms. Let's get that happening. Because, listen, in the U.S., you got, if we talk about, we have to also end that stop and frisk thing, man. Because in the U.S., I have to think, I have to look it up in Canada. Because in the U.S., in, in New York, 56% of the people who are pulled over are black. 17% are white. This is in New York. You feel me? And you got 67% that are black. 17% that are pulled over in Boston. And you got 68%. And 17% in New Orleans. Black people being pulled over. And I believe it's one in every... It's, it's one in every three. I think it's one in every three in, in, in Canada. So the percentage is real high. Right? And you see, this is why we need to end this type of stop and frisk. And just randomly pulling over black people for no reason. You feel me? So, we need to end systemic racism. We need to end the police brutality. And find some form of how the police can pull us over and, and, and not shoot us. You feel me? And last night I mentioned about the talk. I forgot to mention one thing. I forgot to mention if you do get pulled over, you can also stick your hands out the window. Once you open up all your windows, stick your hand out the window until you listen to the, the instruction. And like I said, comply and consent. And do not do something stupid to get yourself shot. You feel me? So we need to end this stop and frisk. And I don't know when BC is going to get it together and, and uh, make a decision on this. So I hope they do that soon. Because too many black people are being pulled over for nothing. And too many mothers and fathers are having to tell they, tell they, um, or to come on, on TV and say that they've lost a son or a daughter. You feel me? So, remember this, man. We got to end racism. And in the United States, in order to end racism, because you got a racist and a bigot in the White House... Dumpy Trumpy, you need to end it on November 3rd by voting Biden-Harris and make sure that you end systemic racism in Canada by voting for the party that you want to vote for that is going to do something about black programs, black educational programs, black entrepreneurial programs, things like that. So remember, people, we are still going through a pandemic. The cases are still on the rise. And people, if you do not believe that this is real, I don't know how much realer it can get when it hits you or your family. You see what I'm saying? So you need to make sure you take precautions and keep yourself safe by wearing a mask, social distance, hand sanitize. It's not rocket science. This, this is easy. 
These are something, this is something that will save your life and save somebody else's life. So if you want to save your family's life, do the right thing by wearing a mask. You understand what I'm saying? Because remember, this virus does not discriminate. The, only the pandemic of racism does. So in order to beat the virus, wear a mask. In order to, to, to beat racism, you need to see somebody, see somebody as a human, not, a, not their color. And remember, Kamala Harris says it. Racism has no vaccine. So, we have to see each other as human beings. Not because this person has black skin. Yo. I'm your man Valentine, baby. And if you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the grind with your man Valentine.